Trinitra Kalpana, projecting manifesting universe from Sadashiva's Trinitra. Sri Bhagavan Uacha, Ati Kotu Halavista, Prasya Chetatrunu Priye, Yanme Netrantare Vanir, Yadvam Ritam Manuttamam, Tat Sarvam Kata Yisyami, Yoga Yuktya Shrunu Priye, Yatswarupam nijam shuddham, Vyapakam sarvato mukham, Sarva bhutantara vastham, Sarva prani shujivanam, Yoga gamyam durashadham, Dushprapa makrathatam abhihi. Sri Bhagwan Sadarshiva says, you ask these questions with great eagerness and intense yearning. Listen, dear. I will speak all about the fire, Vanni, and the incomparable ultimate nectar, Amrita, which is within my eye in between the eyes, Nitrantari. I will speak about all that. Listen, dear. Established in yoga, the uniting space of oneness with me. Its real form and nature is without origin, pure, pervading all and having faces everywhere. It is existing within all living creatures and present in the hearts of all things. Attained by yoga, difficult to accomplish, hard to attain for all beings. Mani trantar vanayam rutam dvayam Yadhamutamam Brahasyamiti Praguktam. In my Netra, cosmic eye, both fire, Vanhi, and nectar of immortality, Amrita, exist. This is the unsurpassable, excellent sacred secret, Rahasyam, not told previously, yet. Jnana Dishadhaguna Yete. Tatrastha prabhavantihi save maha kriya rupa samstite ka kriya mata animadhi gunanasto karoti vi karoti sa evam amechanyanakya kriyakya shakti ruchate Surya Chandra Mashovani Stridhama Parikalpana Trinetra Kalpana Mahyam Tadharta Mihadrishyate Sadashiva said, She is the essence and nature of Mahakriya, the great unified power of action, the Kriya Mata, the mother of action one on which all is established. She is the very self of Anima and the rest of the eight Shaktis or powers. She both performs and destroys. Thus, these three Shaktis of mine are called Icha, Jnana and Kriya, it is said. In me dwell the three playful abodes of the sun, moon and fire, Surya, Chandra, and Vani. In the play of projection of my magnificent third eye, Trinetra Kalpana is the substance of these three. I create, sustain, and destroy the universe. Dahana Pyayane Tena Prakashyam Vidadham Yaham Shrishtim Stitim Samharitim Cha I am the abode of the three bodies of Shrishti, Manifestation, Stiti, Maintenance, and Samhara, Dissolution, Absorption for Rejuvenation. From my increasing and expanding effulgence, from the third eye, the life-filled energy, Viryam, pervades as light to all. 
तद्वीपूरीम मेजो प्रभृहित ईचा ज्ञाना क्रिया नेत्रुतम तद्वी पारम धाम यमृतूपी चत्पारनंद दे तत्म पदम तत्धीधम परम देव साधू का विमोक्षदम साधिहर देव साहर शिव दट फील्ड एंड इंटेंसीफाइड वीर द लाइफ फील्ड एनर्जी is all covered by my fiery radiant essence with my essence and forms of isha jnana and kriya will knowledge and action that viryam is the ultimate eye nectar of immortality nitramrita this viryam life filled energy is the supreme abode of that is the highest essence and form of immortality the nectar amrita this viryam is the ultimate bliss and this is the ultimate space and goal that viryam is the complete knowledge pure and the greatest core of the netra the divine eye this is called the mrityum jaya the conqueror of death and is the giver of complete completion liberation moksha to all beings महापशुपत मह्यम विष्णुता चुदर्शन ब्रह्म नो ब्रह्म दंधस्तु सामुधमेकूपेण आयुधम तदनेकुरा स्वं स्वेण मयवी सर्पित The magnificence of this great Pashupata, the cosmic weapon of Sadashiva, is that it is like Vishnu's Sudarshana, the discus, or Brahma's danda, staff, and is the very essence of all weapons, Ayudha. Appearing in infinite forms and shapes, this weapon spreads in infinite ways. My own viryam, life-filled energy. creates and delivers my own self as forms of suras divine beings listen to this statement in me dwell the three playful abodes of the sun moon and fire in the play of projection of my magnificent third eye trinetra kalpana is the substance of these three i create sustain destroy and absorb the universe सूर्याचंद्रमशोभानीर्स्त्रीधना पारिकल्पना त्रिनेत्रकल्पना मह्यम थाधर्थमीह दृश्य सदाशिव मेड एवरीथिंग एंड ऑल ऑफ अस इन हिज ओन सी इन हिज ओन त्रिनेत्रकल्पना द प्रोजेक्शन और एक्सटेंशन ऑफ हिज थर्ड आय Sadashiva made everything and all of us in his own sea S E E listen not seeing not seen not S E E N E not S E A no S E E I wanted to use some word which is immediate action an existentially happening if i use the word seen then past no he has not created the world and gone to rest no 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 where hindu god rests or sleeps or takes vacation no I can't use the word seen. 
i can't use the word seeing seeing reduces the whole thing just to an action no why i use the word see listen see is a happening sada shiva is karana karya mula listen karana the cause karya the effect mula the source if a part is made clay water and the force water is using on the clay and the knowledge water has which he applies on the clay all that put together becomes a part understand sada shiva is all this for all of us listen carefully sada shiva is all this for all of us he is the material out of which we are made he is the material out of which we are made he is the potter who is making us he is the force which is put on us for us to stay as we are and is the knowledge which is applying the force on us to stay as we are listen only if some matter is connected to you you feel that as me for example as long as your hands are connected to you you feel that as you you can handle it you can do what you want with it you can stretch push pull up down all but if your third eye is awakened you enter into the next frequency in which everything you see you know is the material out of which you are made and is the same material out of which whatever you are seeing is also made so you just know how to deal with the matrix everything you see you know it is the same material out of which the whole universe is made you just know the matter becomes your own extension anything you see becomes your own extension your own projection when the life filled energy reaches the third eye trinetra it becomes amruta the nectar of immortality sadashiva is revealing to devi swam swaviryam it is like my own life filled energy it is the essence of all life filled energy viryam the strongest of the strong tad viryam sarva viryanam tad vai balavatam bhalam by the revelations of sadashiva in the agama shri nitra tantram we understand that sadashiva's third eye is the sea of the whole universe this third eye is the source of creation and is projecting and manifesting everything the trinetra of sadashiva when projected onto anything extends and creates infinite universes life forms trinetra is the mark of pure oneness with sadashiva where the creator sadashiva the creation world jagat created you jiva is oneness therefore the third eye located between the eyebrows is the source center of all power manifestations once the third eye is awakened by sadashiva embodied his divine holiness bhagwan shri nityananda parameshwaram different levels of frequencies of powers start manifesting in an initiated being om nityananda parama
Shivu. 